AES coverage sponsored by GoDaddy.com, the leader in domain names, web hosting services, new customers save 25% by using promo code CES25 at GoDaddy.com. The CES coverage is sponsored by Luxor, Las Vegas. Get to the point. Rooms start at $40. You can go over to TPN.TV for the Luxor advertisement, which is the gateway to savings. CES coverage sponsored by Audible.com, where books come alive. Listen to a bestseller on your iPod or MP3 and get a free trial at audiblepodcast.com forward slash CES. And we've got uh, David here. David is with XI3 Microcomputers. And, well, why don't you show us what you got here, David? How are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Uh, pretty good. We can need some sound for David? Yeah. Thank you. Now there I can hear go. myself. All That's right. wonderful. Hear That's wonderful. Perfect. Perfect. So, um, yeah, this is our new little thing. And in fact, that's not the way it goes, but it actually goes. Oh, well, there you go. This way. <laughs> there we go. So this is the XI3 modular computer. And it's, uh, so we're on, which, which one's hot? Uh, that's we the overhead. We're hot here. So yeah. let me turn it this way so you can see actually so can a little, little bit of the side. Got right it, thank you. Now I, got, I see where we are. All right, so it's the XI3 modular computer. And we believe that this is the smallest, most powerful and most green computer you'll find on the planet, let alone here at CES. Okay. How is it the most green? Well, among other things, it only operates on 20 watts of power, and yet it's a full-blown computer, dual-core processor with uh, Athlon x86 64-bit running at 2 gigahertz. Right. It only needs 20 mm. watts of power. 20 watts of power. Uh, what kind of video card? What kind of memory is in here? It's so small. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is, of course, a mechanical. Okay. So, but what it ships standard with is two gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, uh, along with eight gigabytes of solid state memory, and as I mentioned already, the Athlon processor. You can see on the back, and a whole chunk of uh, various connectors in the back. And we got so. the uh, we got the DVI port. We got an HDMI display. Uh, for I'm sorry, six USB ports, two eSATA ports. Yes. On X, what is that, XM3? X Media. X Media, that's it's what it X is. X Media okay. port. There we go. Uh, and, of course, the three sound ports right there. So right. that's... Right, and Ethernet. And, and, and Ethernet, Ethernet and power. I'm that's assuming, correct. is there a wireless uh, solution in here, too? Or? Um, we can make it wireless, but, of course, you can get a wireless USB, and it's pretty easy to do. Okay. Right? And it runs on 19 volts DC. Yes. Kind of an odd voltage. <laughs> well, um, so... Do you want the story of where this all came from? Is it, what, what would you like to do? Let's do that. Let's do that. How did how did how did it all come come to fruition? Well, it wasn't me. I mean, I'm I'm uh, I'm the marketing guy, and, okay. and I apologize. Jason would be here, but we are absolutely slammed, and, and I'm sure. Yeah, I was down there. I saw the that, yeah. the lovely ladies we have there have a little bit to do with it. But more, they're seeing five foot versions of this rotating above the booth, and <laughs> people are going, "What the heck is that?" <laughs> and they're kind of migrating over. I think we, the only time we got slow yesterday was before the show opened and about 5, 5.30 in the evening. Okay. So Jason Sullivan grew up in the greater Cleveland area. Closet geek. He programmed his first, uh, built his first circuit board when he was eight years old, um, as many of your listeners and viewers did. Mm -hmm. He wrote his first software when he was 13. He had his first commercial software that he was selling when he was 17. Went to Youngstown State University. Went for a quarter. Was making... Doing so well, he dropped out. Okay. And um, he, he tells a story that what happened was is that he was in his retail store. This woman walks in. She has a tower under one arm, hmm. a kid in the other arm, <laughs> another kid hanging off her leg. She kind of waddles in and throws his computer down on the desktop and says, why can't they make these stupid things smaller? <laughs> And he went, hmm, you know, light bulb went off, went home that evening, started ca doing some calculations. And he said, what would it take to compress everything that's on a motherboard down? And how much could you compress it down? And how small of a form factor could you make it into? And what he ended up with is he said, if you could separate pieces of the motherboard into different component parts, you could break it down to three boards, roughly three and a half inches square each. And so that was the start the parent company of XI3 Corporation is called ISIS, I-S-Y-S okay. Technologies, Inc. It's headquartered in Salt Lake City. He migrated from 
the Ohio area out to Salt Lake and began working on this. And unlike just about anybody else that I've worked with in the past, he said, I'm not going to bring it to market. I'm not going to tell anybody about it until I actually have intellectual property protection. So today, ISIS Technologies, which is the property management company, intellectual property management mm -hmm. company, has six U.S. patents issued today. It has intellectual property of trademarks and trade secrets and copyrights and patents pending and all that in over 100 countries worldwide. And um, what I've been working with them as an outside consultant, applied for them in their behalf to win an innovations award, which they did in the computer hardware category. We went to the official CEA press reception in New York City and all heck broke loose. If you had searched for XI3 in modular or XI3 in computer before that press reception on November 9th, you would have come up with maybe a dozen results. Okay. You couldn't just search for XI3 because there's actually a fly rod out there and a, a cigar <laughs> trimmer called XI3 for gosh sakes. But XI3 modular, XI3 computer, today there's over a million results worldwide. And that's in literally in three weeks. So And that's no cigar I, trimmer. Uh, right. No, and it's not a very limber fly rod either. Exactly. So <laughs> what we have then is we've taken that motherboard, broken it down to three parts, and in fact... So is this actually a working device? This is, a, this is actually a mock-up, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. but it is working. We have it working in our booth. But what I brought here is one that I could show your viewers how it actually fits yeah. together. And what's amazing is just the empty space in this thing. Right. You know, it's not, not like it's totally packed in with all these. It has like four boards. On. Let's, uh, let's yeah. get it close up here. We'll tip it a little bit so you guys can kind of see the inside here. Um, well, that's probably a better view. That's probably the best view right there. I'm assuming that's the processor in the back. It's processor socket there in the back, that's correct. And if you'll let me do this, we call it the XI3 modular computer because it's modular in a couple of ways. One is that you can stack multiple computers together, multiple devices together, but also because the motherboard, as I mentioned, has been broken down in three pieces. So literally, I can take this board apart. Wow. I can take this board off. And now I've really <laughs> taken that motherboard and broken it into three component parts. Oh my okay. goodness. <laughs> so why would you do that? Well, you do it for, let me give you a real world example, right? So as you and your, your viewers and listeners will know, your fans will know, um, USB 3.0 is coming, right? right? And so, you know, it was approved over a year ago, but I suspect in 2011, 2012, we'll see a whole chunk of USB 3.0 devices, computers, external devices, and the like. Well, there's literally hundreds of computers out there today that have USB 2.0. Right, and you what can't happens, upgrade them. Exactly, what happens to those computers when USB 3.0 really gets here? They're all out of luck, not Da, 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 if you actually have an XI3 modular computer. Because literally, you slide this puppy out of the chassis. And replace the module. Your FedEx guy or gal or UPS guy or gal shows up, hands you the new board. You hand them back the old board. Wow. You literally drop it into place, click it in like that, line up the cards, and drop it in and then screw the honeycomb chrome-plated side on into place, mm -hmm. plug it back in, and you're back in business. And so now what you've done is a couple of things. One is you really do have an upgradable, updatable, and modifiable computer, but you've also extended the life of that computer, unlike anything else that's on the planet today. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest problems we have with technology today is the fact that it's a disposable society. So if I asked, I, for those that are geeky, the answer is, well, six months. But for most mm -hmm. people, a three to four year window is what you're looking at yep. for how long you keep your computer. Yep. Well, now by being able to literally replace these cards, the personality, if you will, to update it and upgrade it and modify it, you potentially have extended the life of that computer, not to three to four years, but to seven to 10 years. Mm -hmm. You've crushed way down the amount of e-waste going out mm -hmm. to the environment. Plus it's, of course, extremely green at 20 watts of power. And your pocketbook, feels a lot better as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because to get one of these new cards is going to be 50 to to $100. So we'll make them. We'll license the technology to other companies. They can make them as well. They can make 
you know, specialized carts for various applications mm -hmm. or for industrial uh, performance, whatever they want to do. Now we've changed everything. So it's crazy. We think we're going to change the world, but I'll stop talking because I could just keep going. And I well, I'm uh, being an IT uh, IT person for such a long time. I, I'm I'm very impressed with a box like that. And when I first saw it, I would salivation just. Off, off the beard, I had to wipe it down and well, everything. Well, just the size of it, too, for but a home The size, the, the ability to, uh, to, module, to, to, get, to put in a new module just like that, the ability, I'm assuming that uh, the repair system, if, if somebody has a problem, the same thing will happen. They'll be able to pull it apart, as opposed to taking out uh, screws, lifting up a case, trying to figure out where to put the case, having the, the doors fall down. Um, worrying about memory, worrying about what's where, and all these little cables and stuff like that. There's yeah. no cables in that one. No. No, no cables no. at all. No cables internally. It's all solid state. And um, so back to specs again. Yeah, what are the specs for this thing? Two, um, so it's dual core processor, Athlon AMD2, uh, running 64 bits, uh, 2 gigahertz. It comes with uh, 2 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, comes with 8 gigabytes of solid state memory, as the standard base uh, and a small Linux kernel. It's uh, SUSE. Okay. Okay. And for dual core processor machine so, like this, all modular, that retails for 849. Okay. General availability will be at the end of the first quarter. But. So this is for eight, eight gigabytes storage. Eight gigabytes of storage okay. initially. Internally, you can bump that up to 128 gigs today, of course, as the, you know, thank you more. Um, Rod, you know, mm -hmm. So yeah. not Roger Moore. That's a Gordon Moore. <laughs> <laughs> Moore's <laughs> Law. Moore, yeah. Moore's <laughs> Moore, yes, yes. Moore's Law continues to provide us with its benefits. You'll be able to fit more and more in there in an SSD format. Mm -hmm. Externally, you can put anything on there you want. And as we've already shown your fans, I mean, you literally have all sorts of different ways to connect that together. Yeah. And um, as far and, as operating systems that it supports, um, anything that'll support an x86. So case in point. You can put Windows 7 Ultimate on this, and it'll boot in less than 30 seconds. Which is the nice thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, like my <laughs> heavens. I mean, if I have to sit there and wait another <laughs> second yeah. to see Windows boot, I think yeah. I want to kill myself. Yep. So, so you um, could run this thing with the operating system on the uh, solid state drive, you could, and then actually had a hard drive plugged into the back of it, and then use it Exactly. For all your data. So you can have your own hard drive if you wish. And, and you know, some, some people, particularly the the more technical people out there will say, well, you know, I can build something that's less expensive than that. I can buy something less expensive. Mm -hmm. And my response would be, well, yeah, but not at retail. And yeah, if you got an Atom processor or an ARM, mm -hmm. but a dual core processor, x86, running at two gigahertz, probably not. Mm -hmm. Not with this type of configuration, let alone being as beautiful as this one is. I so, just love the size. I mean, it just well, and, and you know, please, you can hold and fondle all you'd like. Somebody, somebody, yeah. somebody on the on the uh, chat goes, my mind is being blown right now. Oh, <laughs> so fantastic. We, um, we need to get going, but uh, I, I'd love to talk more about this. Is there, do you have another module really quick you want to Real show? quick. This is one of the things we announced uh, here at the show. It's called the Zero. It's a thin client. And as a thin client, it allows you, of course, to share the processor and power here with up to three different devices and up to 15 feet away via USB. And one of the things that's awesome about this, it. sorry, you want to, yeah, real just. simple, but the guides on the top here and the channels on the bottom happen to match up with the guides on there, the channels on there. And you can't do it with this because of the sides, because oh. that's how you lock oh. it into place. But oh. you can do it right here. So oh, okay. literally, now, so if you have an attached. office, if you have an office of four computers and you don't want, yeah, you can't afford to to pay for four computers. Exactly. You could put that in the middle of that of that cube area, and all of a sudden you you have four desktop computers for simple processes like oh. <laughs> uh, uh, exactly uh, running a mainframe or something. Exactly. Like that. You buy one of these cubes, the X3 modular computer plus three of these devices here, and your cost per seat drops to 350, and your wattage averaged over all four seats now drops to five watts per seat, wow. and they all run off of the dual core processor here. So how do you connect between the two modules? Um, that's magic. But just uh, the, it's a USB it's, cable. Yeah. Like oh, you so just put yeah. a USB. Just and, an external cable. And how much, how much is the zero? 
Um, you wouldn't really buy that, but it's about 250. So if you buy them all as a set, okay. one one modular computer plus three of, the, of these zeros, altogether $1,400, so 350 per. The same form factor is also used for external storage, and that external storage then can be up to two terabytes spinning media, and you know down there because we have spinning and we have solid state media. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, and these are, we're just starting. Oh, yeah. Right. We have I can't time. wait to see what's going to happen <laughs> next. Right. I really can't. So right now the USB ports are 2.0? Yes, it is. Okay. And we will, of course, update, update those and upgrade those and everything mm -hmm. when 3.0 is Very really nice. here. Where do people go to find out more information? www.xi3.com. So the letter X, the letter I, and the number 3.com. Awesome. awesome. You got the domain. Very good. <laughs> thank can't you wait much. for that to happen. David, thank, thank you, you very, very much, much. All right, thank for you having us on. Thank you. All right. That is a solution right there for, for, for your office, for your set, maybe a second computer, maybe, uh, maybe anything like that. So uh, thanks again, David, for all that. Thank you. There we go.